Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do my top 10 elf favorites. So a lot of these things I use like every single day on my face. Some of them I just use occasionally, but they're like still good products. And whenever I'm on the elf's website, I'm like, oh, I gotta get up to $25. And it's so hard when things are only $3, $1, up to six maybe, but who buys that stuff? Just kidding. Um, so I always go to YouTube, check out people's top 10 and see if there's something I should add to my basket. So let's get started. Also, um, pink hair, orange shirt, clashy, or like a sunset. All right, so my first product I'm wearing today, it's um, the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. And I wouldn't really call this a blush. I use it as a highlighter and it's just like super shiny. And as you can see, um, I usually only wear this to go out because it is really shiny. It's coming up a lot shinier just because I have lights shining on me, but um, it's really pretty and I get compliments on it. And today I'm wearing it as brow highlight and inner corner highlight. And yeah, I like it. It's $3 and really good. Second product would have to be Elf's Baked Eyeshadows. This one is in Bark and it's just like a super pretty dark metallic shade. Comes out really nice. Um, I like to apply these with a wet brush or um, just with my finger. And they come out really pretty for like nights out. They have a few different colors and I haven't ever had one that disappointed me. So um, definitely check these out and they're only $3. Third product I actually am wearing today. It's a new product by them and it's their e.l.f. eyebrow pencil and it's just a wind up pencil. It's in taupe. It's darker than my other eyebrow pencil that I used to wear all the time, but I think it suits me a little better and it also comes with a little spoolie. It has a cap that goes on here, but of course it fell off and yeah. This is $2 and there's I think three shades to choose from. This was the middle shade. Uh, so yeah, so I like it. I think you guys should try it for two bucks. Yeah. Fourth item is like a holy grail item for me. Um, it's the only eyeshadow primer I've ever used in my entire life. It's the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and it's just in, it goes on like sheer, like you can't see it or anything. And it just helps your eyeshadow stay on and I have oily eyelids. So if I don't wear a primer, my eyeliner will like mark my upper lid if I'm wearing it. So this is perfect and it's only a dollar. The fifth product would be the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. I don't like the blush. It actually fell out of mine, but um, the bronzer shade is really dark and I use it to contour and I like it. This costs $3, which is pretty good for a contouring bronzer. Even though I only use half of it, it doesn't matter. If you go on the website, they have a few different shades, but if you buy it in store, it only comes in St. Lucia, which is the shade that I wear. They also have a cream version, but I really don't like it. It goes on really patchy. I mean, on my skin tone it did. So uh, if you're into contouring, you should check this out. My sixth product would be the e.l.f. Matte Lip Colors. I have about four of these and they're just like a lip color pencil and they're really nice if you have like smaller lips because then you don't need a lip liner. Um, they're pretty pigmented. There's it right there. This one is in cranberry and it's a nice cranberry reddish shade um yeah i like it three dollars uh this one isn't very matte but the lighter shades are definitely matte my seventh product would be something that i used to use every single day i used to always have um liquid liner on but now i just i don't know i think i look okay without it so but it's their um, waterproof eyeliner pen and it's a felt tip pen it stays on all day for me um it goes on black. I don't know. It's nice. It's a dollar. I used to like it better when it came in the black packaging just because it didn't get dirty. When this gets like in my makeup bag, it just kind of gets a little scuzzy looking. But other than that, I can deal with it for a buck. And it does stay on. It doesn't smudge. My eighth product would be, um, this is the e.l.f. blending brush, but really any of the black eyeshadow brushes, they just like, they don't shed. They they do what they're supposed to do. Um, they're ones that are a dollar. I don't recommend. I used to use those all the time, but I think they like changed the glue or something because every single one that I've bought now is shed on me. But um, any of these black brushes I like. I have a blush brush by them that I like. I have like three of these brushes and 
I used to put on my foundation with their flat top um, powder brush. So if you're looking for a foundation brush for three bucks, check it out. My ninth product is one of their spendier ones. It's six dollars for the e.l.f. high definition powder and it's just a, a white powder um, that's an HD powder. It comes with a little powder puff and this thing. I used to only use it like if I was going out with like a dark lip, I would um, pat my finger and then like pat it on my lips and that will make your lip color stay on longer. Um, but now I use it anytime I run out of my um, regular setting powder, I go to this and it's really good for a setting powder. The only thing is it's so big that I don't like to keep it in my makeup bag. Last but not least, it kind of goes along with the last one. It's the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. It comes in a little tiny container, but really you only need a tiny bit because it just goes underneath your eyes. It helps from uh, my mascara marking down on the bottom of my eyes. I've noticed if I don't wear this, then it does, my eyelashes do do that by the end of the day. But if I wear this, then everything stays in place and it looks nice, it's brightening. It does have shimmer in it, so if like you're the type of person that's worried about someone being like, super close to your face. Can you see it? I don't think you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, but other than that, I don't know. I like it. I think it works well. It does the trick. So that was my top 10 e.l.f. products. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and like if you like. Let me know down in the comments if there's products that I should try out next time I make an e.l.f. order and I'll see you guys later.